What did the lady cane said to the man cane? Hey, sugar daddy. <laughs> Funny, right? Don't be a stiff person. Hey guys, it's Disha. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to be discussing the sugar revolution in the Caribbean as part of our CSEC history syllabus requirement. Let us look at the dates. The date of the sugar revolution is between 1600s to the 1700s and the setting of the sugar revolution is in the Caribbean. Before proceeding, let us look at the objectives of today's tutorial. Our first objective is to provide an insight on the sugar revolution. Our second objective is to assess the causes of the revolution. Our third and final objective is to discuss the social, economic and political changes. Revolution Hmm, what does that mean to you students? Revolution means change, right? Definitely. Revolution essentially is a formidable overthrow of a government or social order in favor of a new system. Here's the overview of the process. The Sugar Revolution is a catenation or series of events located in the 17th century Caribbean, both in the English and to a lesser extent in the French islands. There was a change in the cash crops, such as tobacco, to primarily sugar. This change was so fast and far-fetched that many scholars used the term revolutionary to describe it. This revolution also saw changes in the population. But why was there a need for this big change or revolution? Well, sugar was becoming the major crop on the plantations in the Caribbean and there was a need for labor. Hence, the king and his other members of his hierarchy entrusted in the company of royal adventurers chartered in the 1600 to pursue the lucrative African slave trade. That company was succeeded by the Royal African Company in the 1600, but the supply still failed to meet the demands. In addition, to facilitate the production of this booming crop sugarcane, much, much more labor was needed than the other labor that was available on the Caribbean, in particularly West African slaves. But why such a revolution? I'd be happy to tell you. Firstly, there was a hard hit in the 1600s by a sharp decrease in European tobacco prices. Hence, the price of tobacco fell due to the competition from Virginia. The biggest threat to the Caribbean tobacco industry came from Virginia, and Virginian tobacco was much more cheaper and of better quality. Secondly, aristocratic planters in the British West Indies
After revolution, the colonies were smaller with only a few whites. However, after the introduction of the sugar industry, planters began to import thousands of slaves as a part of the slave trade. Secondly, there was a formation of a new social structure. With the presence of blacks, an hegemony was established where the blacks maintained a position at the very bottom of the social pyramid. Now, the political impacts of the sugar revolution. Firstly, as a result of the successful sugar industry in the Caribbean, the British gained supremacy and influence in the New World. Secondly, this new power also resulted to greed and made new enemies. Now let's recap our tutorial. We initially looked at the sugar revolution. When it happened, where it happened, and who were the major players. We also assessed the causes of the revolution and we concluded with the social, economic and political changes of the revolution. Okay my history students, thanks for listening. Happy studying and remember to follow us on Instagram at the Genius JA or visit us on YouTube. Like, share and subscribe.